That was one hell of a celebration last night, huh, boys? My head still hurts a little bit. I'm popping Tylenol between the game last night and the celebration. Tylenol on my lant, the tums in the dug, and I'm biting my my. I got no. I'm even biting my toenails. What a game! Holy shit! What a fucking game! Wave goodbye to the idiots from the land of the cleave. We just played a damn good team, gentlemen, with a damn good manager. My hat goes off to them. But we won because we wanted it more. What can I say, guys? What can I say? That was how you play with the house money, okay? You played hard, fast, and loose, you know? And it made me remember the words of a coach I had when I was younger, Coach Cramden. Yeah, Coach Cramden. Give me a bit of advice. Many years ago, he said, listen, you moron. When you play with the house money, it comes in fast and it goes out just as fast. If you have it, anyone can have it. Easy come, easy go. You had it and you went with it. Ah, yes. Coach Cramden. You know, he once rat-tailed me in the shower, hit, hit my nuts Head on, I had to go to the hospital for them to pull my balls out of my abdomen. I missed that big dopey bastard. All right, guys. <clears throat> Seriously, I got to say a few things to uh, set the record straight here. Joe, Joe, you did a really good job last night, okay? You know, if, if we're going to tear you a new asshole every time you fuck up, then it's only right that we stroke you hard when you do good. Okay, you handled the pitching great last night. You, you just did. CC. Holy shit. You gave us what we needed. A chance to go out in front, and you made the idiots really question themselves early in the game. You gave us just enough length to go to the pen without expecting too much. And I've never seen a regular human fall down and make a sinkhole with their knee. Gaudy. You know, it's the little things. You alone probably took, what, 400 pitches last night? You helped wear them down. You were the bridge from the Yankees' past to the Yankees' future. You never give up. You are the heart of this team, Gaudy. DD. You were a one man wrecking crew, okay? W what the fuck can I say? As CeCe was hurting them by, by throwing perfect innings, DD was ripping their hearts out with home runs. If only we had an EE. -E. Robertson. You know, it was nice to see you back last night. Thank the Lord. By the way, gentlemen, there's more good news. My mother-in-law, as you all know by now, went to mybookie.ag, put in the promo code, capital B-I-C, and took you boys last night, and unbelievably, she won again. Seriously. My family is now 15-2, and two, betting since this mybookie relationship, and we have gone public with, with each bet. So it's all verifiable, all right? So fuck you, and you're welcome for all those picks we've been giving you. It's all right. We got it. Okay. Here's what we have to work on. Judge. Judgey wudgy. Basically, you struck out every at bat in every game in the series. If you can cut down and only strike out half the time, we would score hundreds of more runs. Joe, Joe, how about moving Judge out of the two-hole and, and back him into maybe maybe four or fifth in the lineup? What do you think? Let's put a contact hit in at the top of the order. Rothschild, what the fuck? Whatever the fuck you did against Minnesota in games one and two against Cleveland, don't do it again, okay? What you did in games three, four, and five, do that with the starting pitching. And thank God I told you to pack to go to Houston. Look, you guys. This is what we all dreamed about, okay? What can I say? 
We'll have a nice little chat tomorrow before the game. Enjoy what you accomplished, gentlemen. Soak it in. Embrace it. Nurse it. Savor it. Cherish it. Lick it. Caress it. Suck it. Fuck it. But next up, we play the Ass Straws. That's right, the Houston Ass Straws. Do you know what an ass straw is, gentlemen? Think about it. Do you have that visual in your mind? An ass with a straw in it? Okay. Get your shit. Let's meet at the buses. Go to the airport. We'll wave goodbye to that smelly Lake Erie as we fly over it. Get ready for tomorrow, gentlemen. Men. You deserve to enjoy what you just accomplished, okay? But it's in the past now. Like a good morning shit. Relax your minds and bodies. Prepare to do battle again. I love you. And I'm so damn proud of each and every one of you. Now get out of here.